Hello, welcome to another episode of Fun with Deep Drilling Engineering. We already know that a borehole has to be filled with drilling mud always. This is required to stabilize the borehole so that it does not collapse. The mud creates a pressure in the borehole and this pressure is dependent on the density of the mud. Water, for example, has a density of 1 kg per liter and in consequence, every 100 meters of borehole depth increases the pressure by about 10 bars. Now, if we fill up this hole with oil, there will be less pressure in the borehole because oil is lighter compared to water. But we can also make the drilling mud heavier. There are mods which can weigh as twice as heavy as water or even more and therefore the borehole pressure will increase accordingly. So the question is, what should be the correct pressure of the fluid in the borehole? If the fluid is too light, then it's possible for gas to flow from the formation into the borehole. And this is dangerous for the drilling team. So the mud must be heavy enough to build enough pressure in the borehole to prevent gas from entering into the hole. But you also have to ensure that the drilling mold is not too heavy. If the mold is too heavy and the pressure is too much, the rock around the borehole might bust just like this, like a balloon that is overstretched. And this is what we call a frack. We want to show this in a little experiment we have here. We have an hydrocarbon deposit. The yellow pudding represents the oil and gas bearing layer. And the rock around it is the green and the red. If we drill down into the reservoir and apply pressure using the syringe, we can clearly see how the frack builds up in the well. And this frack, as you can see in this experiment, looks exactly like the same picture that we have here on the screen. So during drilling operations, we need to avoid such type of fracking. If the pressure in the borehole is too small, then gas comes into the hole. And when the pressure is too large, we create a frack. The range between these two extremes is what we call the pressure window of the borehole. In practice, this window can be very tight and small. So it's always good to have several specialists on the rig to help us evaluate and verify the pressure window. And also give advice on how to optimize the properties of the drilling mod accordingly. There are also directional drillers, MWD, LWD engineers to help us safely navigate across the pressure window, even though it can be very small. So, in summary, this can be quite a complex process. So, if you really want to know exactly how this works, come to our lecture, Drilling Engineering 1 in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.